Hi everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Easy Eats for Everyone. Today we have special guest chef, Mary Samato from Cooked Buffalo, and she's gonna be teaching us how to make her delicious, healthier turkey meatballs. Before we get started, please remember to pull up your hair, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, and if you can't social distance, wear a mask. Okay, so for the meatballs, we're gonna be using a pound of ground turkey, we're gonna need a half cup of ricotta cheese, <laughs> about a half cup of Parmesan cheese, a half cup of breadcrumbs, and then for my seasonings, I'm using parsley, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and an egg. And from home, you're gonna just need your baking sheet, you're gonna need a spoon to measure your meatballs, and a bowl for mixing. So let's make the meatballs. So please remember, as Mary's putting everything together, to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Before you do that, please check to make sure you don't have anything in the oven. We don't want to cause a fire, and also let people around you know that this is going to be a hot surface. Okay, so we're going to just start by putting the ground turkey in a bowl. We're going to put the half cup of ricotta in the bowl. It makes it so good, so creamy. Parmesan cheese, use about a half cup. In there. Breadcrumbs, use about a half cup. If your meatballs come out a little too dry, you can add a little extra water in them. And then we're going to crack one egg. Do and these have to be any particular breadcrumbs or can they just be Italian style? I just use Italian style, but if you don't have Italian style, just use plain and um, season it. Okay. So I'm going to say half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, garlic powder, use a teaspoon, more or less according to you if you like it or not, and parsley, we'll do about a teaspoon of. Mix. If you are making this for someone other than yourself who's going to be eating it, please make sure that you're wearing gloves. Right. And make sure you get to be messy and make sure you really mix it all up so that the ingredients are all the way through the meatball. You want them to be consistent as you bake them. These are so much easier. I never buy meatballs. These are so much easier to make than, than healthier, I think. Like, you know what you're actually eating as opposed to... If you're getting one of our kits, you're going to be getting a super lean turkey here. Uh, this is a 93.7 lean ground turkey. And don't forget, in our previous videos, we discussed how lean means less fat when it comes to meat. Okay. You can use your hands to form the meatballs, but you should take a one tablespoon spoon for portion sizing. Pick it up. Okay. Put it in your hand. Roll the meatball. This is my favorite thing to do when I was a little kid. And you just put them onto the baking sheet. So you're going to do that with all of the meatballs. You're going to bake them instead of frying them, which is so much healthier to do too. It's so much less work. That's it. Do they have to be a certain distance apart on the baking no, sheet? No, they're not going to spread. So it doesn't really, you can put as many meatballs on the cooking sheet if you need to. They don't, it's not like cookies that they'll, you know, like spread out and touch each other. And how long are these going to cook in our oven for? Uh, 350 for 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Um, check the bottoms. Once the bottoms start to brown, you're done. But 20 minutes, they'll definitely cook through to 165. Wonderful. Just another reminder of the safety. When you're done rolling your meatballs, please make sure you don't touch anything and go wash your hands completely. We don't want to have any cross-contamination which is when something touches something else that's dangerous and you could get sick. Right. These smell like cheese. They're going to be so good. Sometimes, um, I don't know which things I do, but sometimes if I'm making them with sauce, I'll only bake them for like 15 minutes. Okay. And then I will let them finish cooking off in the sauce and then the meat flavors the sauce a little bit. Could you do that with a jar sauce? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> jar sauce is sometimes the move. Just take it out. If it's too thick, add a little water to it. And sometimes it's the flavors off in jars. I like jar sauce personally, um, but 
season it. You can put onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Season the jar sauce with the same thing that you would season homemade sauce with. And without sauce, you could serve this with, say... Uh, there's times I serve it with no pasta. Okay. There's times I just do, like, a side of... Um, I season ricotta cheese with the garlic, salt, pepper, parmesan, and I just serve the meatball with the ricotta cheese and sometimes, like, a piece of garlic bread and sauce. You can put melt cheese on top of that, make meatball subs. There's a lot of different... different things you can do with meatballs. And one pound makes a lot. I was going to say, so this is one pound. All your pits will either come if you have our prep to prepare pit with your meat already mixed together and ready to go. You're just going to form your meatballs. But if you did get our from scratch pit, you'll get all of these ingredients separate. You can make them yourself. Um, and as you can see, you're getting quite a few meatballs. So this definitely will serve a family of six quite easily. Daughter eating ourselves, but <laughs> it should be a portion for a menu. For yeah, it's about yeah. three in a portion. Yes, when I serve them in my meal preps, we do three per person. That should be yeah, there's a little bit left. I might just switch up the bigger, and then you just cook them at 350 for 20 minutes, and they are ready to eat. They are going to be like so delicious, so flavorful, and honestly. So quick, you have to put this up. I'm gonna go wash my hands. While Mary's washing her hands to make sure that they're nice and clean, a couple notes about using your oven. Again, make sure nothing and no one is around, that you safely open the door all the way so that no one hurts themselves using an oven mitt. Place the baking sheet in the center rack all the way in and close the door. We'll see you in about 20 minutes. We checked the meatballs at 20 minutes. They weren't totally done, so we did leave them in there an extra five. Again, whenever you're using your oven, make sure no one is around. Carefully open up the oven door using your oven mitt. Pull the tray right out. I wish you guys could smell how amazing these are. Before you walk away from the oven, always make sure you turn it off. And Mary, these look absolutely fantastic. They smell so good. Okay, so you can eat them. Just use your tongs. You can eat them with sauce. You can eat them plain, however you want. I would say three meatballs portion is great. We use just a regular jar sauce. Um, you could get either low sodium if you need or sugar free. Um, or you could wait a couple weeks when we show you a video on how to make your own bread sauce. Which is the best. So, look how good they look. The ricotta cheese makes them super moist. It's very hard to dry them out because of the cheese in them. So even if you go a little, take a bite. I'll take a bite too. They're so good. So good. I can't even describe, they're so good. Absolutely amazing. Mary, thank you so much for taking Welcome. time out of your schedule to come in. Anytime. Please stay tuned for another video next week. You can find the recipe as well as all the ingredients, of course, underneath the YouTube video. Thank you again for joining us here at Easy Eats. Remember, Easy Eats, cooking should be fun and easy for everyone.